Hey, thanks for checking out this video. This is Bergens, and I'm about to show you how to use this awesome up and coming virtual tabletop quest portal. To put together a quick campaign, make sure you're logged in, go to the home page. At the bottom left, click on create campaign. And then from here, you can either change image, change title, invite players, and reset the link if you need to. And make sure your players click on go to session, as should you, to see your session. Now, here is a temporary landing scene, which you don't really need, so I'm going to remove this. Add scene. I'm going to choose something that was pre-made by the devs. Amazing devs pre-made a lot of these scenes with, with alternate versions of the images as well, and of course some ambience audio that you may need to use. Uh, and there you go. Just like that, by clicking Add to Scene Deck, it is going to be added here. Meanwhile, I can create my own scene and choose one of the pre-existing images, or click on Upload and add my own image, such as this one. Give it a title, so Cyberpunk. And you could add audio here, but I don't need it for now. I'm going to save scene. And the reason you save it is because it'll automatically get added to your campaign list of scenes. You have to click on add to scene deck for it to go over here for your players to be able to view it. Through which you just got to click that. Make sure the players are selected and it's green for the players to be able to see the scene. Or click on this for the players to be able to see that scene instead. And you can change the variant and they will be able to see that as well. Um, so the reason I say make sure to click on Add to Deck is because once you go to Add Scene, not only do you have that Explorer tab, you can go to Campaign Scenes and have all of your pre-made scenes saved here, and then add them to the deck if you need it, depending on where, what part of the story you're on, etc. Now, that was a quick, less than a minute, how to put together a campaign. Here's some extra information. In the chat, you can upload files and images as handouts. You can click at the bottom left and choose a die to roll. I plan a D10 system for Cyberpunk, so D10, click roll. It'll roll it, it'll show the result, results to everybody in the chat as well. Or you can just type forward slash R to roll. Uh, let's say 1D20 and then plus six or five, for example. Uh, it'll roll the, the value here on the die and it'll show you the total value of the dice roll and your total skill value. One more thing I'd like to add is that the current avatar at the bottom of the screen is a beta feature that the developers are thinking of adding fully and making it so that you can fully customize everything you want in this avatar and it'll have facial tracking for you to have facial expressions and react to the game and that to show up on the avatar itself. And that's it. A really easy to use, great virtual tabletop. Hope you guys enjoy it, find it useful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for some more uh, of these kinds of videos and other kinds of videos coming up. Have a great one.